today I am actually at an archery range <laughs> and yeah so I was invited to come out to shoot some bows and arrows and I took them up on their offer so we are out here at the archery range I'm in Wontog Long Island and it's my first experience I've never shot an arrow before but yeah let's see how it goes that's cool but you can definitely put that on your channel yeah that's how I want to know if I had you guys permission so I could do it get some fresh air <laughs> do you need anything as far as this goes or otherwise you're good to go you can set up and I'll set the knee up now uh, unless you want to see that process so you have to do some filming I think it would be cool be like, oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you guys are comfortable with this. You're gonna be shooting and you're gonna be like, damn. Yeah, I'm done with it. Do me a favor. Mm -hmm. Hold those two to the strings. Mm -hmm. Okay. Actually, it's for the bow oh. to come back and don't slap you in the wrist. You ready for the unveiling of Winston? The official. <laughs> Unveiling. He's got his new clothes and everything. I don't know how to act for YouTube, so I'm just gonna... <laughs> <laughs> You're fine. Bam. Wow, that's massive. I love him. If you guys can get a good look at this thing here. This is crazy. Oh my gosh. Literally getting this. Oh, no, it's professional like this. Um, oh. It's upside down. <laughs> he said it's upside down. No. <laughs> <laughs> That's insane. There we go. I think the thing I'm most proud of is my blue key set. I got it to match the electric blue. <laughs> oh, you have to get a left on it, babe, so you have to do it like this. So, to explain the parts of it, I know Ozzy probably do it better. Okay. So, the peep sight okay. that you align with the sights here. Okay. You pull the bow back, that perfectly lines up. Arrow goes in there and clips in between these two pieces. Mm -hmm. And you get, what's it called, Oz? The D loop. The D loop, and what do you pull it back with? The release. You're going to use this release today. Okay. This, is a, this is a thumb trigger release. We'll get you set up with how you want to position that, and okay. I'll show you how to use this guy. It's really easy. You just click, pull. Oh, okay. Yeah, super easy. Is that to me? Is, does that have anything to do with the speed of the arrow, the way it travels? Oh, no. It's just how you just pull a pull? compound bow back. To, uh, some guys have a, a recurve bow. Clear. It doesn't have these. It's oh, just okay. the two, like the Robin Hoodish type bow. Yeah. Um, you can you pull those back with your fingers. Oh, okay. These are a lot more powerful. Yeah. So it's not really realistic to pull it back with your fingers. As I learned the hard way, I say that from experience, I gave myself a compressive injury and my fingertip was numb for two and a half months. Oh my god. Yeah. I was out here shooting for, I shot for about three hours that day. I was just using the glove. I was like, oh cool, this is great. And afterwards I was like, I can't feel my finger. Ooh. So you can do damage if you're not doing this all properly. Oh, so there's yeah. a way to do it there's properly. There's definitely a way to do it. And the thing about bows is you have to, as I've learned, you have to do it like the same way every single time. It's really oh, okay. more about doing what you do consistently. Yeah. And then letting that do its job out. Got it. Yeah. So let's measure you for your draw line. Yep. You want me to Yeah. You're going to see the glare, so... <laughs> You have to like just see past the glare when you get it. So you will know you getting measured for your draw length. So what you're gonna do so is you're gonna point your fist right in front of you like that. I'm gonna give you this. You're gonna hold it right here and I'm gonna bring it back to the corner of your mouth. That's where I feel where your draw length is. Anchor right here by your jaw and the corner of the string should be like right there. Okay. Hold that. Mm -hmm. that straight in front of you as far as you can go. Turn your shoulders. There you go. Okay. It's three. Okay. So. From the bow. What is that thing? This is a. Uh, well, it's to measure. Clear. It's to measure the draw. Oh. Okay. Uh, poundage of the bow. 
and also to measure luggage. Like it has a hook you oh, so pick your luggage up. Oh, so it's a scale? Yeah. Oh, okay. So oh. now it's in, is there any push that's a zero, yeah. It's a little hand okay. scale, you got that? Mm -hmm. yeah. So I'll put it here. There we go. Okay. It was in grams, so I figured we put it in pounds. Yeah, that's, that's, that's right. zero. <laughs> Oh, sweet. You're right. 29. I don't want to go lower. 29.9. Okay. I don't want to go lower than that because the bow's minimum is 30 and okay. you, know, you want to be safe. So, to hold, this is the grip. Mm -hmm. Don't let the name go. You don't want to grip, actually. You want oh, to sort okay. of just rest this in your hand. Oh, because okay. it happens when you grip and you pull back and you let go. Because if you're, if you're gripping it tightly, you get torsional force left and right now. Send your arrow left, out, right, you want to go straight. So the way you hold the, the grips on the bow is this is your your thenar. Mm -hmm. You want to put your the back right there as mm -hmm. flat against the thenar as possible, not all the way out to the thumb, and definitely not past this crease right there. So you're gonna sort of just rest your thumb there, hold it in a good position, mm -hmm. and the fingers super duper loose. Okay. Like really, they're not not even they're hardly even gripping. You're okay. basically bracing and holding this way, kind of like that. Knuckles should be at about a 45 degree angle. Mm -hmm. If you want, you can touch back this way, just super lightly. Okay. And when you draw, okay. I'll show you how to clip on right now, but I'm gonna show you the draw here. It's all back muscles, which I'm still learning, because I have a, you know, um, upper shoulder kind of a thing. You wanna extend the wrist back this way okay. to really get that pressure in there and just sort of hold it like this position, you're gonna lift up. Your elbow's gonna be up, but your shoulder's gonna be dropped. You don't wanna be like this. Okay. You're gonna be here, elbow up, and you're gonna be using your, your lats okay. and your rhomboids. These ones okay. here and here. Mm -hmm. They attach the scapula to the spine. Mm -hmm. They help with retraction here, mm -hmm. this way. And it's that motion, you wanna sort of combine that. What I like to do is, I'll stand, this is on my side, stance like this, mm -hmm. feet about square, about shoulder width apart, doesn't have to be wide, right there. I'll come up here, mm -hmm. my wrist is extended, see my fingers nice and loose, mm -hmm. and I'm, I do a little lean forward and I pull back here. And I draw, this is not my draw length, but it'll be closer to you, yours. Okay. The end of the string should be right about here. Okay. And you, you just rest the tip of your nose there, just like that, mm -hmm. okay? When you draw it back, this peep side, Hopefully, will align up with your. It's set for me, but clear. I'm going down a little bit. You look through that hole, mm -hmm. and you should see these guys. This ring here. Okay. You should see the pins. Mm -hmm. My top pin is set for about 15 or 20 ish. Okay. So you put that top pin on your target okay. right there. Okay. Mm -hmm. The release is easy. Mm -hmm. You put it on the D loop. So you hear a click, never touch this guy until you're ready to fire, just like a firearm. Okay. You hold it here, you do the draw, and when you're ready, ready to shoot, you just rest that here, and I like to put it right here at this joint, the MP joint, okay. right there. And gently, nice and easy, it'll go. The bow should, if you're holding it just like, like nice and loose, mm -hmm. the bow will jump forward like, like that a little bit. After yeah, if you're here and you're holding it like this, that means you're gripping too hard. Okay. Like that. <laughs> I'll probably be gripping too hard at first. That's okay. <laughs> we'll be chasing arrows today. It's fine. <laughs> you ready? Yeah. Uh, what else? What else? One, two. Let's see how you feel with this one here. Here, you put it just like that. One, two. And when, yeah. and let's imagine that we're ready. This one's going to go on top here. Good. Okay. Yeah. When you'll see when you pull it back, you're holding it in like the ideal position right now, but I can't maintain the bow back like that with this. So I usually curl a little bit, which is you're not supposed to do. And this is here, right? And then you'll just gently pull down this way, push down, boom, and that's it. Oh, okay. It's super light. I felt that. Yeah. Here we go. Yeah. This way. Yep. 
This way. Or you can just put it in from this side, like here. Mm -hmm. Just right down in there. Oh, okay. Yeah. And then hook it on like that, right? Yeah. Like, perfect. Okay. Can adjust this position a little higher or lower so but if after a couple shots you're like comfortable with that one we'll leave it there yeah. or we can play this was fine because i was able to put my thumb the way you told, told me to do it so i was okay with that cool there you go okay right there <laughs> <laughs> now remember we want to be loose oh, here yeah, yeah. Yeah. but we, we, we want to take shots because like a lot of the times it's more how we're shooting mm -hmm. than the equipment, so we gotta see consistently. If you're consistently missing, that's when we'll make the adjustment from the side. Okay. Higher lower to so elbow up, push and pull, and twist the hip. Hold All on, right. go back. Yeah. Ready? Three, two, one. Oh. Two. <laughs> Here you go. I didn't touch it though. I think that was my fault. I had my hand on top of it. Oh. Should we go get it? Nope. No, never. Not until you're clear. Twist the hip, twist the hip. There we go. Hold it back that way. Mm -hmm. When you're ready to take a shot, move the finger onto the black target. I mean, a uh, clip trigger thingy. <laughs> All right. Um, so that uh, one, was, that one was high and over. Your other one was low and this way. So it's it's not so much equipment, but it's like shooter or user um, positioning, etc. Okay. So it just keep shooting it. Now, Basically uh, saying you're still cool. learning. Yeah. <laughs> Better than the last shot. Yeah. You're probably gonna have to help her jaw in. Yeah. So they're still shooting and they're actually hitting their targets. <laughs> Whereas I didn't hit the target, but I got two good shots off. So not bad, not bad for my first time. I've never done this before and I don't think I did bad at all. It's actually pretty fun. More fun than I thought that it would be, honestly. But this is the field, this is the outdoorsy field and people get to set up out here. And just shoot however they want. It's really cool. We're gonna go find it. So a couple more people came out now. It's getting a little more crowded out here. Um, let's see if you can see them. I'm not trying to like let people think that I'm videotaping them. And people are weird about that sometimes. Um, but it's a little more crowded. And we're about done, we're about to wrap it up. But it's been really fun and really interesting. Like I didn't think I would like it as much as I did. Um, it's a really expensive sport like all the little gadgets and things are a little pricey but if you're you know interested this is a lot of fun it's a lot of fun the sun is like cooking me out here i should say it's kissing my skin <laughs> but i had a ball this was really really cool we've been out here for a while now and we are about to start packing up and heading out so Thanks for joining me. Subscribe to my channel, ring the bell, and I will see you in the next video.